Hey guys, welcome to Inspire Chemistry. So today in this video, I will discuss about some IIT Jam 2021 questions, memory based questions. So my jo bahut sara students hai Telegram channel mein and WhatsApp group mein, unse question kuch manga tha, usne bheja bhi tha bahut sara questions. So main part part karke question ko solution karke uh, YouTube mein upload karunga. So abhi me main is video mein ten question ko upload kar raha hu memory based question. So question kabi uh, thora bahut galti bhi ho sakta hai, thik hai? So question kisi ko yad nahi hai, pura memory based question hai, jisko jitna yad hai, wo bheja, uske basis pe main solution banaya. बाद में पूरा जब रिस्पॉन्स सीट आने के बाद मैं फ्रेश पे पिछले साल के जैसे फ्रेश एक सॉल्यूशन बना दूंगा वो देख सकते हो वो फाइनल होगा अभी ये देख के थोड़ा बहुत आइडिया ले सकते हो ठीक है एंड वीडियो के वीडियो के डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में एक पोल का लिंक रहेगा तो लिंक को क्लिक करना है वहां पर जाके तुम बता सकते हो कि क्वेश्चन का लेवल कितना था और कमेंट भी कर सकते हो तो लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में रहेगा और फास्ट कमेंट पे रह सकता है अदरवाइज डिस्क्रिप्शन में जाके और टेलीग्राम का लिंक जाओ हमारा टेलीग्राम ग्रुप में है वो उसमें जाके वोट करो कितना हुआ उसके बेसिस पे मैं कट ऑफ बना दूंगा ठीक है कितना कट ऑफ पे आईआईटी मिलेगा कितने कट ऑफ रहेगा जस्ट क्वालीफाई करने के लिए तो वीडियो को एंड तक जरूर देखना एंड यहां पर मैं 10 क्वेश्चन को डिस्कस किया तो सारे मेमोरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन है कुछ गलतियां है तो कमेंट करके बताना एंड कुछ क्वेश्चन भेजना है कुछ क्वेश्चन तुम्हारे दिमाग में है तो लिख के हमारे टेलीग्राम ग्रुप का लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में रहेगा उसमें भेज सकते हो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो If you are new to our channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon for receiving latest updates on exams research positions and guidance videos so let's start the video so the first question is correct pk order of these complexes like hco co hole 4 hco co hole 3 pph 3 hco co hole 3 po ph hole 3 and hco uh, co hole 2 pph 3 hole 2 here it, it, this one is cobalt and this one is carbon monoxide so यहाँ पर देख सकते हो कि acid strength we know acid strength inversely proportional with the pK value okay and proportional with k value so acid strength depends on the stability of the carbonylate anion so so यहाँ पर क्या होगा ये hydrogen सबसे release हो जाएगा उसके बाद एक carbonylate anion बनेगा so these are the respective carbonylate anions COCl hole four minus and this this and this so तुम यहाँ से देख सकते हो कि इसका जो carbonylate जो anion का जो order ठीक है जो structure ये इसका जो स्टेबिलिटी डिपेंड करता है एसिड स्ट्रेंथ के ऊपर तो यहां पर नेगेटिव चार्ज है एंड यहां पर चार कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड है सो so, क्या होगा कि ये कार्बो कोबाल्ट इज इन -1 ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट एंड हियर इन ऑल केसेस -1 ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट सो बैक बॉन्डिंग विल बी मोर फॉर कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड फॉर फर्स्ट केस बिकॉज़ हियर कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड इज प्रेजेंट एंड इट इज स्ट्रांग पाई एक्सेप्टर ओके सिग्मा डोनर एंड स्ट्रांग पाई एक्सेप्टर हियर इज आल्सो 3 cobalt uh, carbon monoxide is present here is also 3 but here difference is that here pOPH hole 3 is present and here PPH3 is present but pOPH hole 3 this one is more pi accepting ability than this PPH3 okay so the stability order will be first will be this one this this one this one the more stable this one is second this one is third and this one is fourth here both have CO3 here CO2 so this will be th second and third but here POPH whole 3 is more by accepting property that's why this will be second this will be third and this will be fourth these are the carbonylate anion uh, stability order so acid strength will be this one first then this one then this one then this one but in the question they ask for uh, pk value so the order will be reverse of the acid order so first will be first more pk value will be for uh, four then two then three then one okay so this will be the order reverse of this acid strength order second question was ionic radius ionic radius of aluminium 3 plus magnesium 2 plus uh, sodium plus and f minus okay so here you can see all our isoelectronic species here total 10 electrons present for aluminium 3 plus magnesium 2 plus sodium plus and f minus so we all know when a positive charge increases in the uh, any atom then it's uh, due to uh, its nuclear charge increases so that's why atomic radius will also decrease so aluminium has three plus oxidation state so its uh, radius will be lesser and reversely f minus have lesser nuclear charge okay so that's why it it has more radius than na plus then mg2 plus then l3 plus this will be the correct order so this is the third question so in the in the third question the spin only magnetic moment for nicl2 pps3 hole 2 and ni sorry sorry mn ncs hole 6 4 minus so in nicl2 pps3 hole 2 this is ni2 plus d8 this is paramagnetic and high spin complex here two unpaired electron is present so that's why mu spin only value will be root power of 2 into 2 plus 2 that is root 8 equal to 2.83 board magneton and similarly for mn ncs hole 6 4 minus this is mn2 plus and here is also five unpaired electron is present electrons are present so that's why this will be 5.89 board magneton but uh, in uh, observed value its value around 6.06 board magneton okay so the answer will be around 6 or 5.89 here 
Now the fourth question is hybridization. Hybridization for these uh, molecules I3 minus Cl F3 and SF4. Okay, for the central atom like here I, here Cl, here S. Okay, so for I3 we all know that from hy uh, hybridization VSC pair theory H equal to half into V plus X minus C plus A. Here V equal to the valence electro electron of the central um, atom. X is the monovalent uh, atoms attached with the central atom. C is the number of cations or uh, cationic charge. A is the number of anionic charge. So I3 minus, so here one I is present central and two I attached with this central metal, central atom. So here iodine has uh, xenon core 5s to 5p5. So that's why the valence electron is 7. So 7 plus one iodine central and two iodines attached with uh, this. So it has monovalent. So two, this X value is two and here the uh, cation is zero and anion is one. One anion is present. So this one is one. So total five. So this will be sp3d. Similarly for clf3 here, Central atom is uh, chlorine, so it is also like iodine. V is 7, X is here chlorine, this is also halogen, so 3. Uh, there is no cation or anion, so 5. So 10, 10 divided by 2, 5. So this is also sp3d. For SF4, it is also V equal to 6. This is neon core, 3s2, 3p4, so S plus P, that is 6. And F is halogen, so X value here 4 halogen is present so 4 and no cation and no anion so that is 6 plus 4 10 divided by 2 that is 5 and sp3d so all have same hybridization sp3d now the fifth question the components those so john taylor distortion so here uh, cobalt en hole type uh, ethylene diamond hole twice f2 plus so here cobalt 3 plus that is 3d6 system and here 3 plus that means this cfs is higher so it will be in paired state Okay, so no John Taylor distortion that is because here no uneven population of electron in EG or T2G. Now here Mn, NME3 whole 6, 2 plus. Okay, and maybe question will be other. Uh, I don't know. This is all these all are memory based questions. So uh, uh, don't mind if these ligands are changed. Okay, after uh, getting the original question, I will make another solution. So Mn, NME3 whole 6, 2 plus. So here also Mn 2 plus and 3D5 system. So here is no uneven population of electron in EG, EG and T2G. So no John Taylor distortion for also in second case. Third case mein kya hai ki NiF6 2 minus. Okay. So here Ni4 plus 3D6 system and EG T2G you can see 3D6. So all will be paired because Ni4 plus higher CFSC. So here also no JTD John Taylor distortion. For COCN whole 5 H2O 3 minus. So here cobalt 2 plus oxidation state and 3D7 system. So that's why EG and T2G you can see here also one unpaired electron is present okay so that means here John Taylor's distortion is present because here in EG level uneven population okay now the sixth question so correct options okay so first one is CH3 and MnCO whole 5 is isolable um, source isolable analogy so CH3 carbon for 4 for 3 hydrogen 3 that is 7 MnCO 5 Mn is 7 and 5 CO so total kitna hua ki 7 plus 10 17 so for isolable analogy 7 plus 10 that is difference between these um, main group and transition metal will be difference will be 10 so here 7 and 17 so difference is 10 so it is isolable so this one is right second is bh and ch isolable and iso electronic so you can see here b for b electron is 3 valence electron and hydrogen 1 so total will be 4 and for ch here you can see for 4 and hydrogen 1 5 so here both are not isolable and not iso electronic so this is wrong Third one is CH2 minus NH2, isolable and isoelectronic. So for CH2, 4 plus 2 minus 1 plus 1, that is 7. For NH2, 5 or 2 hydrogen, 2, 7. These, these two are isoelectronic but not isolable. Okay, not isolable. Isoelectronic but not isolable because for isolable, there will be difference of 10 electrons and isolable will be with the main group and transition metal. But in this case, both are in main group. Third one is CP that is cyclopentadienyl anion molybdenum CO whole 3. So here total electron will be 5 plus molybdenum 6 plus 3 carbon monoxide will be 6. So total will be 17. And for the, uh, this one CP tungsten and uh, CO whole 3 here will be 17. Same because chromium molybdenum tungsten in they are in same group. So total electron will be 6 and 6. So these all are 17. Both have 17 electrons. So these are uh, isoelectronic species. Okay. So first and last will be correct option in MSQ. Now the a seventh question is number of microstate in D8. Okay, for any D system, D1, D2, D3, uh, up to D10, the general formula of this microstate of Dn equal to factorial 10 divided by factorial n, that is number of electron n, and 10 minus n factorial. Okay, now for D8, that is factorial 10, n value is 8 for here, so 8 factorial and 10 minus 8 factorial, that is 10 factorial divided by 8 factorial and 2 factorial, 10 into 9 into 8 factorial, so 8 factorial factorial will be cancelled. 
and you will get 45. So total number of microstate for D8 is 45. It is same as D2. D2 have also number of microstate 45. Now the eighth question that is the decreasing order of C double bond C bond length. Okay. So bond length depends on the pi back bonding. When the metal to ligand pi back bonding happens from metal D orbital to ligand pi star orbital. Okay. Then this pi back bonding due to this pi back bonding, this bond will be breaking. Okay, so when platinum D electron will go to the pi star of this carbon, then this bond order will be lower and bond length will be higher. So this pi donation of the metal from the metal to the uh, pi star ligand, more will be the pi donation, less will be the CC bond length, bond order and more will be bond length. Okay, we know that bond order ke saath bond length ka reverse relation hai. Jitna bond order zada hoga, bond length utna kam hoga and bond order jitna kam hoga, bond length zada hoga. So here, Jitna zada pi back donation hoga pi star me metal D2 ligand pi star then bond order kam hoga to bond length zada hoga. To yaha par dekho jiska pi back bonding zada hai uskai bond length zada hoga and bond order kam hoga. Yaha par bond length puchha hai to jiska zada pi back bonding hoga uska zada bond length hoga. To yaha par dekho ligand hydrogen hai yaha par yaha par cyanide hai yaha par fluoride hai yaha par hydrogen hai. Okay. To we all know that cyanide is strong fill ligand and hydrogen moderate. Fluorine is only pi donor, okay, and hydrogen is no, not pi donor, not sigma acceptor or sigma donor. Uh, uh, but this fluorine is pi donor and sigma donor, both, okay. So here you can see cyanide is pi acceptor, more pi accepting property. So that's why pi back bonding will be more more for B, okay. And then this will be second, okay. This will be third and this will be fourth because these here four fluorine is present. So all fluorine are pi donor as well as sigma donor. So that's why this bond order will be more. So bond length will be less. So here two fluorine is replaced by two hydrogen. So that's why this is little bit more than this. And here all are hydrogen. So this is more than this. So first will be this B, then this A, then D, then C. So this will be the bond length order C double bond C or CC bond length. Okay. Now the ninth question is the buffer solution of NH3 and NH4 NO3. So we all know that buffer solution means uh, any uh, salt and the conjugate acid or base solution. So here this is the salt and conjugate base is NH3. So their strength is uh, basic strength is 0.3 molar and uh, this solution is 0.1 molar. And KB of NH3 is given 1.6 10 to the power minus 5 at 25 degree centigrade. So PKB will be minus log of KB. So that will be 4.795. Now we all know that from Henderson equation POH equal to PKB plus log C salt by C base. So 4.795 plus log salt salt concentration. This is 0.1 divided by 0.3. So here the strength is concentration here we consider and this will be 4.31. This is POH for basic. But in the question they have asked about the pH. So pH will be 4 minus sorry 14 minus 4 point this 3 1 pOH so that will be 9.68. Many students will do this mistake because they will not they, वो सब नहीं देखेगा कि ये पीएच मांगा है ये फिर पीओएच पीओएच आने के बाद ही वैल्यू पुट कर देगा क्वेश्चन गलत हो जाएगा लेकिन क्वेश्चन में पीएच मांगा है तो 14 माइनस दिस पीओएच करना होगा क्योंकि पीएच प्लस पीओएच इक्वल टू 14 सो द आंसर विल बी 9.68 ओके नाउ द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस वीडियो दिस वन इज आरएमएस वेलोसिटी द गिवन आरएमएस वेलोसिटी ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इज 1900 मीटर पर सेकंड एट ए पर्टिकुलर टेंपरेचर एंड दे हैव आस्क्ड अबाउट दैट सम एट दिस सेम टेंपरेचर द आरएमएस वेलोसिटी ऑफ n2 so we all know that RMS velocity uh, equal to root over of 3rt by m. That means here R and T, T is fixed in this case and R is constant. So that means this is inverse, um, the RMS velocity proportional to 1 by root m. Okay, so that is your RMS of hydrogen divided by RMS of, of nitrogen equal to the uh, putting this relation m of n2. This is reversely and hydrogen is reversely. Okay, after putting this m n2 m and m h2 that is 28 by 20 by 2 that is root 14. Okay, now RMS of n2 equal to RMS of h2 divided by 14. So RMS of h2 value is given that is 1900 divided by 40, root 14 meter per second. And so the after calculating RMS velocity will be 508 meter per second. Uh, meter per second okay so this is the answer so aaj is video ke liye itna hi ye part 1 hai 10 videos mein upload kar diya so next jo video aayega uske liye hamara telegram group group ka link rahega wahan par jaake tum question send kar sakte ho otherwise group mein jaake discuss kar sakte ho question send kar dena main alag se solution video bana dunga so that's all for today's video so thank you for watching please share this video with your friend that can help your friends also so thank you for watching see you in the next video